Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. This is another paid request from Aragorn. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos or topics or reactions or commentaries or whatever, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal, this is usually the best bet, or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And he wanted me to look at his 10 most overrated films. This is his list. Folks out there, be respectful. Don't be a dick. And if there's stuff you disagree with, that's cool. That's what happens with every overrated list. Because you're talking about films you think are overrated. That means they were well liked by people. So, if I made a top 10 most overrated list, people would be pissed at me. So, his list. Number 10, The Godfather. I understand that. I'm not a Godfather fan. So, I, I agree with that, actually. I prefer Goodfellas, Casino... Uh, films of that nature. Uh, the Godfather just never interested me, not in terms of the plot, not in terms of the story. I'm not a big Francis Ford Coppola guy. I could watch Bram Stoker's Dracula, but I'm just not big on, not just as a person, but just his films. Like, Apocalypse Now is there, but there's other war films I prefer. Full Metal Jacket, Hamburger Hill, Tragedies of War, Platoon, etc. See, so The Godfather just was never for me. I think it's over long. I'm not as interested in the plot compared to other people are. It's just not for me. None of The Godfather films are for me. Like I said, I'm more of a good Phyllis Casino guy. I guess I'm more of a Scorsese guy than a Coppola guy. After Hours is great. Wolf of Wall Street I really enjoyed. Number 9, E.T. I like E.T., but I perfectly understand that. I do understand that, and I can somewhat agree to that. Because, again, I like E.T. I never hate E.T. But at the same time, I never feel the urge to watch E.T. Like, I saw it at times on VHS as a kid. Really never felt the need to go back to watch it. There's hundreds of other movies I'd rather rewatch. And I don't think it's a bad film. It's just... I think it's one of those films that got overplayed a lot and was kind of, this is the best movie. And I think it's a good movie. I think the cast worked well. I think E.T. is a great effect. Worthy of Oscars. Good score. Yeah, I do think it's a good movie. It just I think it just got overplayed so much that you know, people got tired of it. Understandably so. But I do like E.T. Number eight, Taxi Driver. I disagree. Uh, I do not think it's overrated. I think Taxi Driver is a really good film. I think Robert De Niro gives a very solid performance. I think Scorsese really gives that sense of this guy is a ticking time bomb. And even by the end of the film, he does this brutal, violent shootout. I love the bit with the... But then he's labeled a hero. And there's a guy that was going to murder, what was it, a senator? Like a politician. Like this is a guy that's getting tired of the streets and getting tired of, as he calls, the filth. They wishes to get washed away. He's a ticking time bomb. And by the end of the film, he's been hailed as a hero. But now the, the bomb is ticking again. And... Maybe we've gained some time on this guy. We days, weeks, months, years, who knows? But at the very end of the film I got the impression that you know, he's calmed down now. But it's about to start again. And what will happen next time? Was that one point that would only be like a taxi driver video game? Maybe I just imagined that. But I like Taxi Driver, so I disagree. Number seven, Flashdance. I'll be honest, I don't... The only thing I remember about Flashdance is the song. What a feeling. Ba -da 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 -da. And her and the thing and the water drops on her. We got parodied a lot. Elvira did it in Mistress of the Dark, among other films. But I don't really remember the film, so I can't comment on it. Number six, the Hunger Games franchise. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
it stars a certain lady who I'm not going to name, tis she who shall not be named, tis the last time I named her, people got pissed. Uh, yeah, if I want to see the 100 games, I'll watch The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's Sub-Zero now playing Zero. A lot of those movies, based on the young adult novels, they're not for me. They're not my cup of tea. They all kind of blended together. There was the... I forgot all of them. Some of them got franchises as well. The Maze Runner and this movie and other stuff. They're just not for me. Are they the worst movies of all time? No. At best, maybe they're okay average. Like the hundred games, they're they're not for me. Like some of them were OT like average. These I was never a fan, never cared for. Don't care for the way the action is. I'm not interested in the story. I mean, I've seen that story done in other movies that I prefer, like The Running Man. If you love T Throne, it's not for me. I'm not a big fan of the actors as well. Number five, The Hateful Eight. I agree. I mean, overrated of all time. I don't know how many people really talk about the Hateful Eight nowadays. But I do remember a lot of people liked it at the time. I didn't. You never really hear anyone mention it again. Even at the time, I don't know if people said, this is the best Tarantino film ever. So, overrated? I don't know if that would fit in there. But it was praised, and I was never a fan of it. I mean, it's one of my least favorite Tarantino films. Just Tarantino, I like Reservoir Dogs, I love Pulp Fiction, I love Kill Bill, I like Kill Bill Volume 2, I like Jackie Brown, loved Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, was a bit on Glorious Bastards. So hey, Hateful Eight, Jane Doe Unchained, I'm 50-50 on, there's some parts I like, some parts I don't. The Hateful Eight is probably the Tarantino film I like the least. I thought it was very long, I thought it was very boring. I don't like the way the plot developed. I I don't like the the finale of the film. I did what it was trying to do. I just wasn't my cup of tea. Wasn't satisfied with it. I thought Caruso could be used a lot better in this type of plot and setting. That was a waste of Caruso, to be honest. So yeah, I, I was not a fan of Hateful Eight. Can't really say, well, they're unlikable. Well, they're called the Hateful Eight. Of course they're unlikable. But yeah, I, I, I agree, and I wasn't a fan either. Number four, Insidious. I could see that. I don't remember hating Insidious, but at the same time, I never felt a need to watch the sequels. I never felt the need to revisit the film again. I do remember I had some decent visuals. The acting wasn't bad, like Patrick Wilson in them, but... At the same time, I'm sitting there doing what James Wan... I'd rather just go rewatch Malignant, which is my favorite, which I think I have it here. Sorry, bear with me. I think I have Malignant here. Sorry, now, um, yep, it's right there. Yeah, from Warner Brothers. But yeah, I like that film. I like The Conjuring. I could watch The Conjuring too. Those I like better than Insidious. So. But there's other horror films I find much, much more overrated. Number three, most MCU after Endgame. Honestly, I would include Infinity War and Endgame in that. So I would say everything starting with Infinity War. But, yeah, I just see what you mean. Like, again, for me, Infinity War and Endgame belong on the list. That's just me, though. But after Endgame, especially, because a lot of the credits and, you know, diehard fans will praise Black Widow. There are people that do praise Captain Marvel and the Eternals. Not all... Well, I guess maybe not a whole lot I saw praise the Turtles, but there are people that defend you know, Shang-Chi and Black Widow and them, and I might like, teach their own. You could like whatever movie you want, but 
I think these films have been garbage. I think the talent has been deficient. I think the action scenes have been extremely lackluster. A lot more filled with CGI. Kind of like the problem that DC films were having. Where the third act became just a CGI smorgasbord. Like Batman v Superman and Justice League. Well, the issues with those finales just became one giant CG cutscene. There was really a tease for Marvel until Infinity War, Endgame, and then after, especially Endgame, and after that. You did the finale. If you looked at the finale of Ant Man three or Shang Chi or Black Widow, they fall in that category. Just everything just like a CJ cutscene. The political shit doesn't help either. Force that more and more, and identity politics force that in more and more to be more detrimental. It's showcasing the box office, and also just become lazy and tired. And disrespectful of characters. Doctor Strange has been disrespected. A lot of those characters got disrespected. So, I do agree with that. I mean, for me, I just put Infinity War and Endgame in the same ballpark. Number two, Beauty and the Beast, 1991. Uh, I disagree. I like the movie. There's other Disney films I like more. Well, I mean, he's he's not saying he hates it. He's saying he's they think he's over. That's the thing. Do I think Beauty and the Beast is overrated? No, I think it's a well done movie. Really good animation. Solid songs. Yeah, there's other animation I prefer. Aladdin. And The Lion King. But I still think it's a good movie. I mean, I can I see what you mean by overrated in the fact of... Other era is not the Disney film I watch, but yet that's the one that I think was at least nominated for Best Picture. This is not where anime films didn't really get nominated much for Best Picture. I like of all the films they did nominate for Best Picture, I mean, <clears throat> there's others I would choose. Again, this is not him saying that he hates the film. This is him saying it's overrated. I just see what you mean, but. Uh, it wouldn't be on my list. I'll put it that way. Number one, Titanic. Absolutely agree 100%. Absolutely Titanic being overrated. 100% agree. I think Avatar is more overrated. <laughs> but I can appreciate the effects work. But I just never really got into Titanic. Other people did. I know people love the love story. They love the... Maybe find out a bit more of the Titanic mythos because of that movie. And they get into the epic nature and feel of the film. Of showcasing how gigantic the ship was. And they're into the romance. I just wasn't into the romance of the film. I think Leonardo DiCaprio has done much better. Whether it be in The Revenant, Wolf of Wall Street, Basketball Diaries... What's he can deal with grape in terms of acting? It's fun to see Billy Zane as a slimy villain. I like Bill Paxton. It's sad to see him wasted. I would have rather seen the movie with him journeying, taking the journey to the ocean to find the wreckage of the Titanic. That would have been more interesting to me. Is Bill Paxton and his journey with the Titanic salvage and wreckage. I would prefer that movie instead. Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. But I did a whole video saying why I don't like Titanic. For those who want to know, feel free to watch that video. It's still on the channel. But yeah, with that said, uh, I, I disagree with Taxi Driver. Somewhat disagree with Beauty and the Beast. The others I can understand. Titanic, Godfather... E.T., I definitely understand those. MCU. After Endgame, especially, but... I did Pretty good list. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks once again, Aragorn, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.